What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy, Blackout Sam, and today we are looking at the top five biggest traitors in football, and this is across the world. Now, let's get straight into it. Our first one is one of the most controversial transfers in Premier League history, and if, if you want to know how to really upset and be universally hated by an entire fan base, get your notepad out, start making notes, because we are starting with Sol Campbell, and yeah, this one's, this one's a really bad one. Sol Campbell started his career at North London side Tottenham, spending nine years at the club, making 255 appearances across nine seasons, scoring 10 goals, and he captained the side to the 1999 League Cup win. So yeah, he's I'd probably, at the time he was known as a Tottenham legend, and <laughs> he's, he's definitely not anymore, can I just say that now? But in 2001, he was asked by a Sky Sports interviewer, where does his future lie? As his contract was uh, up in the summer. And I need to get the notes out because I don't want to get this quote wrong, but I will tell you the exact quote he said to the Sky Sports pundit back. He said, I think it would have set all Spurs fans if I went to Arsenal. Not that I'm going to. And to be honest, that's a pretty sus thing to say. Why would you need to mention Arsenal? Hmm, bit ironic and quite funny. When you think then in 2001 in July, <laughs> it's announced. Sol Campbell's joining Arsenal, one of the most controversial decisions in Premier League history. Yeah, just why would you do it, Sol? Why would you do it? The fans absolutely hated him. His, fat, his shirts were burnt. He went back to Arsenal and there are thousands of fans held up signs saying Judas. He, he's, he's known to this day as being one of the biggest traders in football and is still hated by many Spurs fans nearly 20 years on. And now onto the next player, which in my opinion is the most controversial signing of all time. It's Louis Figo. The Portuguese tricky winger played 249 games for Barcelona across five seasons, scoring 45 goals and winning seven trophies. But in July 2000, the player made the shock decision to transfer from Barcelona to Real Madrid. It was one of the most shocking decisions in transfer history. And uh, when he went back to the new Camp, uh, he was greeted by a lot of things. There was chants going on which were, die Figo, die Figo. The coins were thrown at him, bottles were thrown at him. There was people, people were setting fire to photos of him in the stands. But more controversial than anything, and it, one of the most famous photos of all time in football, was when a pig's head was thrown at him. You heard me? A pig's head was thrown at him when he was trying to take a corner. I'm going to show you the photo now. It's it's shocking. This photo now actually is quite funny. This this pig's head is actually in a museum in Barcelona. And you can go see it. But yeah, that's got to be, in my opinion, and I think in everyone's opinion, the most controversial transfer and a controversial footballer and biggest traitor, definitely, in history. Our next biggest traitor in football is Evan Zahavi. The Israeli forward played for Hapoel Tel Aviv. And yeah, he played really well at his boyhood club and secured himself a big money move to Palermo in Italy. But this didn't work out and he left the club after 18 months, joining Hapoel Tel Aviv's biggest rivals, the Israeli giants, Maccabi Tel Aviv. And this was really controversial. And uh, the two sides played against each other in November 2014, where Zahavi scored and went to celebrate. Then fans ran onto the pitch and he retaliated in a fight with one of the fans and getting himself sent off. And then more fans flooded the pitch and a huge fight broke out really, just a mass brawl and many players were sent off and then the game was just abandoned. So he has got to be up there as one of the biggest traitors in football history. And our fourth player to make our traitor list is Gonzalo Higuain. The, uh, the striker left uh, Napoli in 2016 to join rivals Juventus. And the biggest problem for fans was purely down to the fact that, yes, they met his release clause, but he had the choice of two clubs and he chose to go to Juventus over the other club. Fans reacted really poorly. They burnt his shirts in the streets. They flushed his shirts down the toilets and they were coming out the sewers. And one of my, I think this is horrible, uh, all local restaurants offer discounts every time he got uh, injured to celebrate, which, which that's mad. Local restaurants celebrating a player being injured. And uh, a local rapper called Enzo Dog released a song about Higuain, and I'll quickly read you the lyrics of the chorus. I'll only enjoy myself when Higuain dies, once Higuain dies, once Higuain dies. That was a song which was released and charted in Italy which is just completely horrible. But yeah, he's got to go in on the traitor list. It's just, you can't do it. You can't join a rival team. 
But yeah, let's move on to the next player. And our final traitor to make the list is Stephen DeFort, the former Burnley midfielder. But in 2015, he would turn to standard Liège, but this time with Anderlecht. And he was greeted by fans in the one stand, a three-storey high banner of himself being held by the, the Grim Reaper cartoon with Stephen DeFort's decapitated head held in his hand with the phrase red or dead. He was booed all game, coins were thrown, bottles were thrown, and yeah, he was subbed off at half time because it was just too volatile a uh, situation for him and atmosphere. And those are my five biggest traitors in football. There are many other players I could have mentioned Carlos Tevez, Robin Van Persie, Adi Bayor. There are hundreds, so many I could mention, so I'm definitely going to do a part two. But if you want a part two, please like and subscribe. Comment any other players you want to see on part two. But thanks for watching, guys. Bucket Sam, over and out. Whoosh.